Hi, Pete. Hi, Matt. So, what's this? The device wall. What's, what's the device wall? It's a wall of devices. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously though, what, okay. like, what's the point of the device wall? So the point of the device wall is to give web developers an opportunity to see what their website looks like across all different devices, whether it's a brand new device, something that's been around for a long time. To be able to see your site and how it works is kind of important. And obviously we've got Android, we've got some iPhone, we've got Microsoft Services, uh, Chromebox, yep. um, which obviously then means you start getting different browser support and all the other kind of things like that, which is always fun. Um, so why is this useful? Well, so we found a couple of bugs, and probably my favorite bug is one we found on one of our own sites on google.com slash chrome. If you take a look at the site, let me grab this. So one of the most important things you can do when uh, building a responsive site is make sure that it remains within the viewport. So it looks like it's in the viewport, and if you were using uh, an emulator or something like that, you'd be like, oh, hey, yeah, look, everything's in the viewport. Look at all that text. It fits perfectly. No, it doesn't. By moving the browser around and actually playing with it on a real device, you can find bugs that you'd not find otherwise. We came across one site on a uh, site Paul Kinlan built, the Airhorner app, which if you're looking for something fun, the Airhorner app. Don't, don't advertise his app. It's a terrible, terrible app. No, bad Pete. Um, but the other side of this as well is we hooked it up so it's like looking for open web platform features like HTTPS, Service Worker, uh, Theme Color, which is super simple for people to add in. It gets like a really nice branding to the site. Um, we've also got PageSpeed Insights and Web Page Test. And that basically looks at performance issues that you might have with your site and it gives you a nice score, which is really simple like for helping people figure out, okay, how is my site roughly doing? Um, which is really, really nice. Anything else? Anyone can use this. Yeah. Absolutely anybody can use this. Up here. There we go. Anybody can use it. You can go to our GitHub repository. Uh, it's up on GitHub at uh, the Google Chrome slash mini mobile device lab. Um, give it a try. It's a ton of fun. Easy to use. Nailed it. Thanks, Matt. That was fun. Bye, Pete. Bye, Matt. <laughs>